What's up guys, this is Hardik here. So the Nexus 5, uh, the most loved phone from Google, is now receiving the Paranor Android the 7.2.1 release, uh, which is based on 7.1.2 Android version. So yeah, today I'll be showing you how to flash it on your device and also give my initial impressions of this ROM. And at the end I'll be showing you how to flash it on your device because I did go through a few of the minor issues which I'll be talking about later in this video. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get started. So I've been using the Panorama Android ROMs for quite a while now. I remember flashing the 5.1 version on my Nexus 5. Uh, so yeah, from that particular time I was using the uh, ROM itself. Uh, so yeah, in my opinion, the PA ROMs are the most stable ROMs for your devices because again, they take a lot of time for development and in that time, all the major bugs or even the minor bugs are pretty much fixed. So yeah, I really like the ROM itself. So today we'll be taking a look at the new ROM from Paranor Android and also I'll be giving you the initial impressions of using this ROM for few hours basically because again this rom was re released today itself few couple of hours ago uh so yeah so i'll just quickly go jump into settings and scroll down into about phone and as you can see the android version is 7.1.2 which is again based on android n uh so there we go then going back uh i'll quickly go through all the system settings and show you the features that are present in this rom so the first thing here is the wireless and networks. So in this all the basic NFC stuff uh, that we get on other devices as well or other ROMs as well. And going down we have display. So in this we do have night light. It is off by default but if you want it you could turn it on as well. And then going back we have ambient display again a neat feature to have. Uh, then we have font size, display size. Uh, at the end as you can see we have a color engine and in that we do have a theme option so yeah going into themes uh, we have the default pixel one which is here uh, then we have a gray theme which is not as dark but it is grayish in color and then we do have a default theme I really don't know what the difference is between the pixel and default but yeah it's there but yeah I prefer the dark one because I really like using my phones at night and the dark theme helps a lot to be honest but yeah these were the themes and then if you select here we do have the accent colors as well so there are uh, plenty of them to select from but uh, i prefer red because yeah red and black is the best combination as for me uh, so yeah you could preview it over here so if you keep gray uh, you could preview it here as well but yeah for now i'll just keep be keeping it a red so yeah, going back we have again LED light like the battery charging light and notification light, all the basic things again. Then we have notifications, we have gestures, uh, in gestures we do have the jump to camera, so double tap on the power button to camera, we have double tap on the status bar to sleep and then we have three finger screenshot again, simple as that, three fingers and you have the screenshot. Then going back we have sound, we have buttons. So in sounds, uh, nothing much, I, I mean all the basic things, uh, then going into buttons, the first thing you notice here is swap buttons. So if you want the uh, back button to be here and recent to be over there, you could do that as well. So yeah, again, home long press, double tap, back long press, double tap and the recent long press and double tap, all the basic things again. Uh, so yeah, going back, we do have apps, storage, going into battery. If you tap on the little battery over here, uh, you get the style. So if you want a text to be displayed on the status bar, you could do that as well. But I really like the circle one because it really blends in with the status bar itself. Then again, if you tap here, we have the battery percentage. If you want it inside the icon or next to the icon, you could select that as well. But yeah, again, that's pretty much it for the battery. And going back we have memory again the free ram that we get and nothing else then we have security accounts all the basic things again the developer options if you want to enable that uh, go into the build number tap it seven times and then you'll have the developer options over here again the developer options is pretty much the same nothing much again so yeah uh, that's it. Also system UI tuner if you want to enable that just hold on to the system 
or the setting icon for a while and it starts it will start spinning basically and then you'll get the system ui tuner on your device as well so yeah those were the features i mean we don't have plenty of features in this rom but the performance and the battery life is really really on point so remember i was using this rom on my nexus 5x as well uh, so yeah that was the initial release date again it was the first release so if you want to check that out uh, there will be a link in the description or there will be a card right over here uh, but yeah as you saw in that video this rom did not perform that good i mean there were lags the camera sucked and and much more basically but yeah this is the 7.2.1 release on the device itself and most of the bugs here are fixed so this is the stable version i could say of the particular rom itself so the only gripe or only thing i don't like about this rom here is the inbuilt apps we have the calculator we have the calendar again the calendar as you can see is the older version i think we used to get this on the kitkat but yeah again that is the older version also the camera here is changed uh, it is like some other ui but yeah more on that later but i'd still prefer the google camera then again clock contacts and the phone itself it's it's different i mean it's not the latest version of it but if you want you could disable these all apps and ensure the latest one from the play store itself also if you can see the messaging app is different as well also i think the multi window works here so if i just hit on recent and let's see if i if i want settings on the top and let's see if i want messaging here so yeah this works as well so drag there we go and yeah this works fine as well uh, so yeah nothing here and also the launcher if you notice here is not a pixel launcher we do have the google now page over here we also have the swipe up for the app drawer but as you can see the google bar on the top is different so yeah that this is not the uh, actual pixel launcher if i go into settings if i go into apps let's see uh if i go to settings here as well the home app is the launcher 3 so this is not the pixel launcher again this is some other launcher or there there this is the custom launcher it acts as a pixel launcher it also has these uh so yeah you could select it and there you go you could do that as well but yeah those were the features and the pre installed apps the battery life i did not test it for a while i mean I just flash it so if you want the full review regarding the battery life and the performance let me know but again my Nexus 5's battery is pretty much damaged so yeah, I don't think I'll be able to provide you with the best results but yeah, I'll try my best uh but yeah battery life for now is like meh not that good and not that bad as well so yeah that was the rom itself again all the basic features the dark theme applies over here as well So as you can see, this uh, notification panel and the uh, quick toggles are dark as well. Even the app drawer, as you can see here, is dark. But all the apps will stay uh, the default itself. They won't turn dark because I think substantial themes are supported in this ROM. But I have like yet to test it. So yeah, all the features and everything's done. Now I'll be showing you how to flash this ROM on your device. So first, reboot into your recovery. uh for that just power off your device or you could select the reboot option as well restart okay it's restarting anyways uh you could select the power and volume down at the same time to go into the recovery mode i mean to go into the bootloader mode but yeah we'll just hit on that and as you can see this is also a new boot animation that we get with the rom itself so There we go. So once into bootloader, you need to be rooted, or if not rooted, it's fine. You have to have a custom recovery installed. Uh, I'd prefer the TWRP recovery as well because again, that this is the like best recovery. But I also make sure that you are on the latest version of it. So for now, it's the three point one point one zero. So that is the latest recovery. So first thing you'll do is go into backup and backup the previous ROM because again, if anything goes wrong, you could like restore it itself. Uh, then go into wipe. 
you want to add one swipe like the cache the data system and dalvik art cache and then swipe to wipe and once the wipe is done go into install select the rom file and the g apps and here the g apps you'll select are the pico g apps i did try the nano i tried the micro i tried the mini none of them worked insufficient storage error is what i got so yeah pico g apps will work uh so yeah pico g apps 7.1 arm not the 64 bit as well just the arm 7.1 uh and flash them and you're good to go just reboot the system and if you want the twrp app on a device swipe to install it or not do not install and you're basically done so now you'll see the new boot animation as well so if you want that you could watch it that's pretty much it guys thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed and i'll catch you guys in my next one